Good afternoon and welcome again to another midweek spiritual nuggets where we pause in the middle of the day in the middle of the week to share from God's holy word and hear what he says to us from his scriptures. I am Pastor David Ince from the Bethlehem and Faith Moravian congregations here on the island of Barbados and today the last Wednesday in the month of October Women's Fellowship Month we will have Another one of our ladies, this time it will be Sister Juliet Smith. She's from the Full Neck Congregation and she'll be sharing with us from God's Holy Word today. But before we go any further, let's look at the text for today from the Moravian Daily Text for Wednesday, October the 26th. And the watchword reads, Rise up, O God, judge the earth, for all nations belong to you. Psalm 82 and verse 8. Hymn verse, bring justice to our land that all may dwell secure and finally build for days to come foundations that endure. And a doctrinal text, indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. John chapter 3 and verse 17. And it's accompanying hymn verse, you are the way to God, your blood or ransom paid. In you we face our judge and maker unafraid. Before the throne absolved we stand, your love has met your law's demand. Let us pray. Almighty God, you rule with love and justice. We come like eager children wanting to labor for you. Through your enabling grace, guide and equip us, lest we falter or trip along the way. May your kingdom come. And Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace, your mercy, your goodness towards us. All creation belongs to you. And Lord God, even though we have sinned and drifted away from you, you still love us. And you loved us enough that you gave your Son to us. And when we believe and put our trust in him, we can be redeemed and restored to you. And so, Heavenly Father, as we would reflect upon your word today, speak to us, speak through your woman servant, that we may be blessed as we listen to your word and hear what you say to us through her. We thank you too, Heavenly Father, for our women folk, and even as we celebrated them during this month of October, may you continue, Lord God, to use them powerfully as they minister to us. So bless them, go before us. We ask all these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And so now I hand over to Sister Juliet as she shares with us today from God's Holy Word. Sister Juliet. Greetings, my brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we pause and reflect at this time of the day on another session of Spiritual Nuggets, I want to share with you the Word of God as recorded in the Gospel according to John chapter 9, verse 35, through to verse 41, and I'm reading from the New International Version. Jesus heard that they had thrown him out, and when he found him, he said, Do you believe? In the Son of Man? Who is he, sir? The man asked. Tell me so that I may believe in him. Jesus said, You have now seen him. In fact, he is the one speaking with you. Then the man said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. Jesus said, For judgment, I have come into this world so that the blind will see and those who see will become blind. Some Pharisees who were with him heard him say this and asked, What are we blind to? Jesus said, If you were blind, you will not be guilty of sin. But now that you claim you can see, your guilt remains the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, take my lips and speak through them. Take my mind and think through it. Take my heart and set it on fire for thee. As we meditate, this I ask in Jesus' name. 
This month, commonly known as Women's Fellowship Month, as would have been alluded to earlier by Brother Ince, we concluded our activities on Sunday with the annual Thanksgiving and candlelight service, which was a reminder to us to go light the world as we lit our candles. Throughout the Bible, we see women as part of Jesus's ministry playing a very important role. And come to mind is Esther and Deborah. And I thought of Esther being the queen and how she rescued the Jews. She came to the kingdom for such a time as this. And Deborah, one of the major judges, and she was a prophet. And she inspired the Israelites to victory. Although I will not focus on the women characters today, I am instead going to challenge you and I from the scripture, it was a reading from our daily text today. John 9, read earlier, and my focus will be verse 35 to 38. Under the theme, it's your time to believe. And I read again for emphasis, 35 through 38. Jesus heard that they had thrown him out. And when he found them, him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? Who is he, sir? The man asked. Tell me so that I may believe in him. Jesus said, You have now seen him. In fact, he is the one speaking with you. The man said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. Reading from the New International Virgin. You may be thinking, believe what? Nowadays, there is so much fake news among the truth and good news that sometimes you cannot see it, neither can you believe it. But I am here to share that it is your time to believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, the Son of God, same person. It's your time to believe because, one, Jesus will come looking for you. In the background, earlier in John, John tells us about this man who was born blind, whom Jesus had healed. And the Pharisees investigated the healing. They questioned the man. The religious leaders rejected him and put him out of the temple. And here we see Jesus went looking for him. Some of us at times are beyond recognition. We are hiding. The cares of this world are weighing us down and we don't want to hear nor see anyone, we think our case is a world case scenario. But as I reflect further, there is good news for you. You cannot hide from God. God will come looking for you. Jesus will take the initiative. Others will reject us and it hurts. But God has consolation for us in Jesus Christ. Secondly, you have to recognize him. Verse 36 says, Who is he, sir? The man asks. Tell me that I may believe in him. Do you know him? Do you believe in him? You have to make a choice, a commitment. 
However, when it comes to believe in Jesus Christ, there is no neutral ground. You are either making a decision for Christ or you are making a decision against Christ. It is not just enough to have good intentions. Where are you at this moment? If you are unsure, it is a good time to be sure. How you respond to Jesus Christ is the greatest decision in your life. It will determine the quality of life you will have on this earth as well as your eternal destiny. It has been amazing during this month as I listen to persons, women, who give testimonies relating to their cancer. We call them the cancer survivors. And they just didn't survive for one year or two years, but decades. We heard testimonies where people have been healed of their cancer for 20 and 30 years, and they're still counting. And it has all been attributed to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And since it's your time to believe because Jesus will come looking for you firstly, secondly, he wants you to recognize him. And thirdly, he is calling you to worship. Jesus said, you have now seen him in fact. He is the one speaking with us. The man's response was, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. The man worshipped Jesus and he received his worship. The religious leaders said, you can't worship with us at the temple. Jesus said, I will receive your worship. We must admit our spiritual blindness, be forgiven and set free. If we do not make ourselves available, how can we be enlightened and we will remain in our sins and it is not God's intention. Jesus is still healing persons today, healing them in spirit, soul and body. Pray for a spirit of discernment. Pray that God will remove the skill from our eyes so that we will be able to see and receive. God's temple is open for all of us. And as we forward to verse 39, Jesus said, for judgment, I have come into this world so that the blind will see it is not just the physical seeing that God is talking about, but he is talking about our spiritual seeing. May we be blessed today as it is your time to believe for Jesus will come looking for you. You must be able to recognize him and to worship him. Let us pray. Eternal and most gracious Father, we thank you for your word. We ask you, Lord, are we blind also? We pray our answer will be, Lord, we believe. Help our unbelief. 
open our eyes, Lord. We want to see you. We want to worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to thank Sister Juliet for reminding us that it is our time to believe. Our Lord has already done all that is necessary, and he invites us to put our trust in him. Indeed, his word tells us that now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So now is our time to believe. Thank you, Sister Juliet, for reminding us of this this powerful message and this responsibility that we all have to put our trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so, as I said at the top of this broadcast, this brings us to the final Wednesday in Women's Fellowship Month. Uh, most of the activities have already passed. And on Sunday, we celebrate Pink Sunday, or we commemorate Pink Sunday, as we honor our breast cancer fighters and survivors, as we stand together uh, in support of those who fight against this dreaded affliction. So this Sunday is designated Pink Sunday. But before we go, we have a number of other notices for us. Uh, of course, we join this evening for a session of prayer during our Bible study hour. So we join this evening for a session of prayer. Uh, I know that I might have indicated that we would continue, but let's pause and, and prayer because there's much things that we need to take before God's throne. So I invite us 7.30 this evening to come together in prayer. Other activities following on. Uh, on Saturday, there is Steel and Vibes. This is a presentation of the Calvary Moravian Church, and it honors our breast cancer fighters and survivors. And it features many, many artists, as I have been saying over these last few weeks. Persons like Paula Hines, Mr. Blood, Police Band Quintet, or very own Calvary Steel Orchestra. Proceeds from this concert will go towards um, the church's mission and their community work and in support of cancer awareness. And you are invited to wear pink. Early bird tickets are $40. I believe most of them may be gone by now. General tickets, $50. And then following on on Sunday, so after you enjoy yourself on Saturday evening, you may not be you know, eager to go home and start cooking for Sunday. You don't have to because faith annual luncheon takes place on Sunday the 30th. Um, and so you're invited to come on up to faith and have your lunch already prepared, ready and waiting for you. Um, $50 per head, children 10 years and under, $35. There are many things on the menu. Uh, your usual fear, your rice, your macaroni pie, your baked chicken, fish, you, you name it. Uh, for you with sweet tooth, sweet teeth, if you want to call it that, uh, there is cheesecake and fruit salads. These types of things are already there waiting for you. So between the hours of 12 noon and 3 p.m., you can receive it. You can also dine in with us. You don't have to take it away. Uh, so if you are desirous of fellowshiping with us, we invite you to stay on. Uh, there is accommodation being made for you to dine on premises. So Faith Luncheon this Sunday, October the 30th, adults $50, children $35. And we continue our daily daily text readings online, so you can join us there. And on Sunday, faith Sunday worship morning worship service is at 8 a.m. And following at 9:45 will be Sunday school. So we invite you to come on up to faith 8 a.m. for regular Sunday morning worship, and stay on with your young ones because both adults and children are invited to Sunday school 9:45. And at Bethlehem, they're at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is Sunday morning worship. And that is the session that will be streamed live too on our Facebook and Facebook pages and YouTube channel. And so if you can't make it in person, you can always join with us online on our Facebook pages or our YouTube channel. Uh, for Sunday school, that proceeds 
on Sunday morning worship. And that is at 9 a.m. So you're invited to uh, bring your children and your young ones on. Sunday school is now getting back up to, to speed. And so we encourage you to come on down. And on November the 20th, this is a little early notice, on the 20th, we will be having our Harvest Festival, and this is at Bethlehem, our Harvest Festival on November the 20th. And the following Sunday, we have our Chris Tingle 2022, and this takes place at the Calvary Meridian Church. And of course, this is brought to us by the Grammar Singers of Barbados. Admission is $20, but we'll be sharing more of that even at the time the hours close. So until next Wednesday, pray that God will continue to bless you. And remember, now is your time to believe and to put your trust in God. And we look forward to seeing you this evening as we join together in prayer. Receive the benediction. And now may the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit rest and remain with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Have a blessed day all and enjoy the rest of your week.